Did they retake without a kit though, no? Yeah, but it's not necessarily the end of the world because they're already responding. The bomb hasn't been planted just yet. Oh, electronic. And exile. Yeah, they're forward of the smokes. They want to take this fight and they I do isolate for you. Hobbit. Oh, that's clean. Takes down Camion. Trying to rotate through. They are still giving it a good look in. MSN swings on the flash, and it's good work from Exile. Comfortable on the Glocks. Just the one to celebrate from DGL. They get two clean on his second. A hard shot for the third, and it seems that Cloud9 have done enough. Nearly a team ace. It was. Specto spots one out, and well, was they slowly tighten this grip on the B bomb site? There's plenty of bodies to get past. A boost erected, and now noted. Except for a glyph and a shot. Able to convert a couple of frags here. This one's getting dicey. It's just for ya. Oh, and they just convert, don't they? Oh, I mean, yeah, that's not going to be particularly satisfying. No, they've been able to stack towards A in the interim. Or at least close to stacking. Oh my god, they're not expecting him. MSN does find Perfecto. And now, Electronic looking away will get caught out by DGL. This is potentially winnable now. It certainly is with DGL onto Hobbit. 1v1, Poria yet to frag. Walking in with that 5-7, Axile. There's no idea as to where he's coming from, but process of elimination will start to dictate May main. Clearing out storage. And now he has the power position, no kit available for Poria. Up an AK. Ooh, an <laughs> we didn't even think he got it. <laughs> Nails it on the last He was trying bullet. to get out of dodge. The key kill there is electronic. Because we saw Warro get punished in a similar position in the last map. And he gets the first. A second quick one from DGL. Flashed off, Molotov lands, MSN supporting, takes down Boomich, Axel trapped behind the flames, so the AWP are allowed to escape, and with 10 seconds left, this is Perra's first. And it's thanks to a quick snipe out of DGL. MSN in support as well, gets his pair of frags. Exile just holding on to his AK. Well, that does make things slightly more difficult for the buyer to come together, but that is very nice for DGL, isn't it? Just sit. Here he comes, boom, it's pushing. Oh, and trapped behind the smoke. What? He's so blind. Where DGL is just fragging. Molly lands square on the jaw of DGL. He peeks out. That was a hard flick to hit. Doesn't do so. Amion somehow alive and kicking. Now there punished the for their repeaks. There they are. They were belated, but they're there. Boomich Love that pace did make change. the space, didn't he? Yeah. And yeah, you can see that was the call. Boomich knows that he's essentially just there to grab that room. So he's not going to over-invest. He's not going to heavily invest. It's still a two on three. Coming in for the retake is MSN. Oh, finishes meal onto the rag on electronic. Versus three for Aaron. The next one's going to hunt him down. Aaron will punish that. Get away to save the M4, but Cloud9 calling a good game is Boomage. And fragging a good game is Hobbit. Feels like he always manages to deliver in that capacity, or more often than not, always is a strong word. Oh, you remember MSN? You could nudge people? Yeah. So you call the DGL position a liege? Yeah. Oh. I first saw a liege using it where he'd like line himself up so he could stay crouched. Oh, I've been calling it Nico. Okay. I've seen him do the same lineup. Right. Yeah, that's interesting. Well. Doesn't matter. Oh. That does. Woof, Camion, hello. Second one was beautiful. Yeah, really nice work on Boomich. He's given his team an advantage. Oh, not ready for that though, it was DGL that electronic. That was well played. Beautiful. Management of his angles, touch of aggression, and Aaron's thrown some aggression into the mix. Axel not expecting that. Bombs lose, 25. Yeah, they have to get the bomb. I don't think it's time. I don't know. Electronic and Perfecto, what have you got for us? He knows Aaron has pushed. He's worried about everything. You'll hear this now. Aaron knows. Rug sweep. Yeah, clearing. Oh, and Aaron's got two with the low HP. There's nothing here for Electronic. Does he want to die? Or does he want to fight? Takes down Poria. Trying to hold on. No one's going to kill him here. Maybe Aaron could have his number, but... Aaron's done so much. He's actually finished off and won the round after Camion's handiwork in the dark position. A double kill for both of them. And Perez second on the board. Yeah, Cam. Oh, this looks like exactly we've seen this the before. Same. We've seen this one before. Camion. 
Does actually wrap, handle it well with Boyer's help, but there's Electronic. Coming straight out onto Kami and pushing that smoke. That dark smoke's so brutal. And you can see what it leads you to. Uncomfortable retake. They're going to nade in pick five. Swing, Aaron. And Axile receives. Perfect reaction from Axile. Round is locked in. Another save. Yeah. Oh, no. They're coming. This should be a save. Right, jail. Axile not really didn't have to move there. But we'll play for the round. How giving it a look. Yeah, that's not fun, is it? Not an easy retake whatsoever. MSN is stubborn. He comes leaping through. Throws his body into the mix. Just giving everything he's got. But EGL, nothing for him here. And if we could have another look at the second map or something. So intriguing. Was that on DGLs? Yes. Okay. Yeah, DGL had like what looked to be a second one charging. Oh, we're seeing how much he's moving his arm for these turns on the camera there as well. He won't go down to the bomb, so it retains the AWP again. Survivability. We know, but this looks like a fake. Oh, they pushed out forward. Hoya got a bit of information. That's going to force Axel into a fight. He finds MSN and maybe the site. Gentlemen, there's 25 seconds. And you've just lost Electronic. Bomb's going back to A. Bomb's going A. Aaron's taking down Exile. Now Bomb's back going to B. B. Oh, ooh. Keep your options open, Alex. That's what I always That's say. That's the secret. Yeah. Keep your options open. Never commit to anything. <laughs> it's worked out wonderfully. Gosh, yeah. I mean, Aaron's dead. Nine rounds on the board for Cloud9. This could be a quick one. Uh, I was going to say, Axel did see him, right? Yeah, he definitely saw him. Axel? Well, spend your time looking for Axel, boys. The round's over. Yeah. They got one. There it is. Now, you do have to retake, and you don't really have a chance in this one. Hobbit makes it so. Oh, Hobbit. He is just abusing them. 16 and 3 for a T-half. That's a, one hell of a haul from Hobbit. And a 10th round. On the board for Cloud9 to close this to your side. They're going to be very happy with that one. Making this a quick trip in their opening best of one. How rush the vibe. That's about all. As Hobbit and Perfecto will start to flank a main. So plant guaranteed. Aaron spotted out, but boom. Flash to Fast flank. flank. Fast flank. MSN caught out. And now uncomfortable for the two T's. Standing in front of each other. Blocks the shots of Hobbit. Nice one back out of Aaron's Glock. Has he got any more to say? Swiveling around. He's got two to find. Aaron in the clutch. Aaron finds the head. Oh, he's running out of bullets. He's on the knife. Trying to close the gap. What are you doing, Aaron? He's going to knife him. Boomich takes it. And oh, that's going to hurt. I think he had two bullets left, didn't he? I think he? he had a couple. He had two bullets left. Swap into the knife. Oh, you can just tell the pressure at the moment getting to him right there, but trying to disrespect Boomich, he'll make sure you know no. who you're up against. Oh, that's oh, that's heartbreaking. He was hitting some shots as well. Wilkins bottles of flame. Flash through. Oh. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Axel. He's human after all, leaning into his screen to try and get away from that, and he does so. What a shot that was. This would be a um, nasty round to lose. Uh, Sobering round to lose. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? After you That'd just be 12 for Cloud9. Turned it all around with a nice second round. I'm trying to get in frisky. Lurk smoke on B. Mid space taken. Oh, Camion. Camion. Yeah, he, he, Camion needs two here. He's not even going to get one. Oh, ducked under it, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, nice movement from Electronic. Not greeting. A little bit as well. He's in the in position to catch DGL search here. He's not considering behind the pillar. Look at that. So uh, Hobbit caught. Oof! He's hit a complete flick onto DGL. Aaron and Poya. Back to B with the bomb. What can you do here? You've got Hobbit up against you. Electronic activating with all these sounds he's hearing. They go around the world. Only eight bullets. That's all he needs. Only needs two. Boyer slips up, nails it, Hobbit opts for the D, and it's going to be the end of Para's hopes and dreams. Oh. Boomich delivers, takes down Aaron. It's Boyer to trade, nice find from Kamian, taking down Axar, there is still a defender on the site. Will he overlook it? Seems they would. 
Boya unable to find him. Electronic defending to secure it cleanly. Camion kind of finds himself in a second frag. Now they'll pick up the bomb. Cam and Heaven, the approach. 19 frags for Hobbit. Can he do any more? They're actually going to group up here. As Camion's trying to jump up, and that's a comfortable conversion. Hobbit will punish. DGL can't do anything. And Cloud9, they will take it convincingly. Boom! Happy with that. Cloud9. Got to be happy with that. A convincing start to their campaign to Copenhagen. Yeah, you want to be dominant, especially against a team like Peros. That's a very, very solid start here. Just two more victories required. One more best of one and a best of three if they can keep it clean. But 